Greetings from the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania Radical Fairies 2015 Gatherat. I'm here with one of our headlining performers, Feathers. How are you? I am doing great. I am also doing great. This is the first time I've ever seen a Feathers concert. Now, what was tonight's show like as compared to how you like to display your music? Well, it was a little bit stripped down tonight. Uh, oftentimes I have backing tracks um, that I have recorded on my computer. On Actually the tonight, and Feathers had backing tracks and she said, cut them, cut them, cut them. Yes. And you sang all live. Yeah. I mean, well, I couldn't hear myself. Or I but hear still, it. everyone went crazy. Yeah. I, couldn't, I couldn't hear it to sync up to it. And I want you know it to be like a really like a cohesive experience for the people who are hearing it. You know, I feel like music is something that you're doing to be like pleasurable to people's ears, and so, uh, and so I told them to, to cut it because I couldn't keep sync with it, and then just kind of did it live, so or all live anyway, and that was fine. When did you know that music was your voice? Oh, uh, as early as like 13, I was making music on my computer with uh, software, electronic software, um, like a tracker program um, called Scream Tracker, and Scream Tracker was like all um, sequences of sound. Yes. and it was really low tech and uh, I mean I still have those on my computer not those old samples from 13 year old me uh, making music then and it was fun um, and then it, uh, I went to music school um, and so on but that was really when I knew it was when I was that you know a teenager so tonight you were talking with folks here at the uh, the amber carpet and we're talking yeah. about identities and you said and I am a radical fairy yeah. what does that mean to the folks who have yet to attend a radical fairy event what is that all about um, uh, how to describe a radical fairy to somebody who's not a fairy um, how to describe feathers how fit feathers. feathers okay as a radical fairy uh, well um, uh, I'm, I'm not really sure how to, how to go into it to perfect what, perfect because it's everyone's yeah. interpretation of what you want to experience is yeah. my thought yeah. um, on tonight can, I mean I could go into like the history in Harry Hay no, I'm just, or I'm I could just, I'm so inspired you know, by seeing your can I, tonight may I suggest go ahead Randolph Sorry. What it really is, is the freedom to be who you are, to be gender free, not to be trapped by your genital definitions, Absolutely. to be a male or female or in between or both, whatever the hell oh, like is definition. really you, that's like what that it's definition. all about. I'm a champion of the freedom of gender yeah. expression. And non-heterative, or non-heteroconforming. Now, the yeah, name here. Feathers, is it yeah. about, did you have your hair feathered? Is it your fairy name? Let's it's my fairy name. It's your fairy name. Yeah. So if people are looking for your music, would they look up Feathers? Yeah. Do you yeah. have any, any stuff on YouTube? Um, not really. Uh, I, I had some with my band for a while. It was called Radium Angels. Um, and it was like, all, we were all trans. The song you sang tonight, is that one that is copyrighted by somebody else, or is that no. something that can be... So everything I played tonight I wrote. Oh my god! delivered. Now, oh. two questions for you. Oh. We have yet to hear so many beautiful trans voices to the masses. Who was your inspiration that sort of pushed you to say, do it, sing to the mic tonight? Uh, Scissor Sisters. Scissor Sisters. Yeah. Now, who would you like to hear your voice? Who do you feel like would really benefit from hearing what you want to emulate from the story of feathers? Oh, well, I want young trans people to hear it and to know that, like, you know, they can claw and scrape their way to, uh, um, to a unique and authentic existence and to be whoever it is in their heart to not worry about the world and just do what their passion is. Um, instead of, you know, because there, there are a lot of young trans people who are like caught, I mean, we just saw this thing with uh, uh, Leela Alcorn uh, in, the, in the news media, you know, this young trans woman who killed herself and then put her, um, her suicide note on Tumblr, oh, and then it came yes. out, yeah, and everybody, yes. yeah, oh, it was a big like... That was horrible. Yeah. And so, you know, I want me, my music to come out and talk to the Lila Alcorns of the world and be like, hey, it's okay, you're not alone. There are other people who are having this experience too and you can get through it. So let's use this experience right now to lift the world and our friends in the trans community. What would you like to say to them to give them that empowerment right now? Feathers. Um, I love you, you can do it. Bye. And you are it gets you better. are living you are a living example. Yeah. Now you know why I wanted to talk to Feathers. You can do it from Philadelphia.